Yes, NV stands for Electric Networked Vehicle and it really represents what this vehicle is all about. It's an electric vehicle which means it creates zero emissions and it can run on renewable energy. It's also networked so it can communicate with other vehicles and with people and with the infrastructure and that's important because we want to avoid accidents and we want to manage the traffic, coordinate the traffic to reduce congestion. As we were looking at future societal trends, one of the biggest trends going is urbanization. More and more of the world's population is, are living in cities. And we know that people living in big cities often have difficulty moving around. You notice it in Manhattan, for example, in America. A lot of people don't own a vehicle. We need to find a solution for the emerging markets in particular where we're expecting a lot of our growth to take place in big cities. Historically, or over the last 10, 15 years, typically we've been working on concept, technology concepts that are really taking advantage of the technology that we're developing and showcasing really tremendous new capabilities. We really started with a societal trend, which was urbanization. And we said, what are the problems facing people who live in big cities today in terms of moving around? And it came back to energy and environment, safety, congestion, parking, and affordability. These are the big six items issues that we have to address to create a sustainable uh, automobile for urban use. It's cleaner because it's zero emissions and runs on battery power. It's safer because it can avoid collisions. It's faster because it can avoid congestion. And it can be cheaper because it doesn't require a 300 mile range capability and 100 mile per hour top speeds like a lot of our vehicles do. It's really tailored for urban environments where you don't need those speeds and ranges. With this type of vehicle and with some support from cities in terms of uh, wireless communications infrastructure and recharging infrastructure for the battery powered vehicles, and with, maybe with dedicated lanes or zones, we really think that this is an achievable vision. What's really exciting is that this has the potential to be very affordable. Normally we think that high-tech vehicles are expensive, but this is a high-tech vehicle that could be very affordable. This vehicle represents a complete vision of the future. Not only a vehicle, but a complete mobility system. That's what's really exciting about this. The safest way to introduce these vehicles would be what I consider a belt and suspenders approach, which would be a combination of sensing technology that we're perfecting and have on production vehicles today, wireless communications technology between vehicles and with the infrastructure, and physical infrastructure support, such as dedicated lanes or maybe car-free zones. When you have these elements in place, then I think it's, it's a robust way to introduce autonomous vehicles. This, this autonomous technology is a game changer in so many different ways because for people who currently can drive a vehicle, it can tremendously change the experience of being in the vehicle, for example, video conferencing. But for, it's even more profound for people who don't have mobility, you know, whether they're too old to drive, or too young, or too poor, or maybe they're disabled. All of these people who currently don't have mobility, now they, they have the freedom and the independence to move where they want. And that's truly profound, especially as societies all around the world are beginning to age.